Hey guys, I'm back and we're going to talk about pH. Uh, this question keeps coming up over and over and over and I just wanted to do one video on this very specific point, okay? Is having an alkaline pH healthier or not? Okay, so let's talk about this. The first thing you need to know is that your body has many different fluids, okay? And each of those different fluids have a different pH. Your whole body is not one pH. Your entire body should not be alkaline, for example, or acid. Uh, for example, the stomach is very acid, the large intestine is very acid, and the urine is acid. Now, one of the reasons why the body has different pHs is to activate enzymes. For example, the stomach being very, very acidic between one and three will activate uh, this enzyme called pepsin, which is a very powerful protein uh, enzyme that breaks down proteins. Now, in the large intestine, you have acid to help prevent the overgrowth of certain unfriendly microbes, okay? Like lactic acid is produced to help kill off certain microbes. And the urine is acid to also prevent microbes from growing as well. Now, if we alkalize the fluids in these areas of the body, we're going to create a lot of problems. Now, the idea that the body should be alkaline really stems from the blood, okay? So if we reword this question, is having an alkaline blood pH healthier? That would be yes, because the blood has a very narrow, tight pH between 7.35 and 7.45. If we look at the pH, 7 being neutral, anything lower is acid, anything higher is alkaline. And when we go from a 7 to an 8, it's not just by 1, it's by a, a power of 10. So 8 is 10 times more alkaline than 7. Now the other confusion that I see all the time is thinking you need to eat only a certain food that's in a certain pH to correct your pH. Uh, that's not true. For example, um, yes, you have vegetables are alkaline, but you also have essential fatty acids, like an omega-3 fatty acids that people consume, and that's in a lot of different foods. Those are acids. And then you have amino acids, those are proteins, acid. Sugar is also acid, by the way. Now, to make sure you maintain the very specific pHs that the body needs in certain body fluids, you just need to eat healthy. You don't need to necessarily eat more of a certain acidic food or an alkaline food. You just need to eat healthy. That's what will put your pH in that range. Because I see so many problems where people start consuming like baking soda or using the machine to make alkaline water, and they start diluting these acids right here. And then you're going to inhibit certain enzymes for digestion. You're going to inhibit uh, the protective mechanism against microbes and start growing unfriendly microbes and uh, helping feeding uh, mold or candida or fungus. So that is a huge problem. All right, so I hope that cleared up some confusions. So the next time someone says that you need to alkalize the body, ask them what specific part of the body are you talking about? Hey, I appreciate your attention, and if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and subscribe, and I will definitely keep you updated on future events, live events, and webinars that we're going to do very soon.